Hello, I'm going to go over my regular Spine Unity workflow. Uh, since it sounds like there's some questions on the forums about best practices, and I then figured I'd show mine. Uh, on my desktop, I have a folder called Spine Unity Project. This is uh, the regular Unity Project files, uh, assets, library, project settings, and whatever else gets auto generated by Unity. Uh, I also have a folder called Spine in the root folder of my Unity project, and this is where I keep uh, all of my spine data, like the spine file, the source PSD, and all of the image atlases. Uh, so to show the spine file set up here, I'm going to be using uh, spine 1.9.17 uh, because there's currently a bug in the, the 2.0 exporter that would invalidate this video. Uh, Everything in here is pretty much set up like a normal spine project. There's animations and images and all the atlases are set up properly for exporting. Uh, in the export settings, the only really important thing here is that the path is set uh, to the correct path in the Unity project. I'm going to go over that in a minute uh, inside of Unity. Uh, in Create Atlas, uh, there are some important settings. One being that if you use meshes, you should uncheck strip white space, X and Y axis, and that you should also set uh, the output format, especially if you're using PNG, uh, to pre-multiply alpha, and that'll remove all of the, uh, the crazy white artifacts that tend to show up on PNG files. Under options, you should also change the atlas extension from .atlas, which is its default value, to .atlas .txt, which allows you to pick it up as a text asset. Okay. I'm going to jump into Unity now and find my project on the desktop and open that up. So this is the regular Spine Unity install and Spine C Sharp install uh, in the root, uh, root folder. I, I guess uh, it's worth noting that the Gizmos folder actually does have to be at the root level if you want the spine icon to show up on the uh, the spine assets. But as for folder structure, I usually try to create a root level folder called sprites, and then under there create another folder for the specific sprite that I am importing. In this case, I'll be bringing in my mage from a personal project. And now I will go into, back into Spine, and under Export, I'm going to set my output directory, I think it's already set there actually, to, let's go all the way back to the desktop just to, to show this. Under Spine Unity Project, Assets, Sprites, Mage. Let's select that. And the full path here uh, will show all the way into the assets folder, the sprites folder, and the mage folder. And I'm going to choose export. JSON export complete, packing complete, and when we go back into Unity, everything should be auto imported. Um, our mage will be brought in, our atlas will be, uh, atlas data asset will be created, skeleton data asset will be created, material will be created, um, and the texture will have some generic default uh, settings applied to it. Uh, it will also generate a prefab that is ready to be dragged uh, directly into the scene. So now, uh, one of the biggest questions on the forum was, now that this works, uh, how do you update your data without breaking any of the references or links uh, to the existing data here, especially when generating new atlases or new animations? One of the really nice things about Spine is that the skeleton data asset and the atlas asset don't actually have to change. They just have to reference uh, different text files that contain the information at, which is generated at runtime the first time you try and load the object after you hit the play button. So to properly export from Spine into Unity with an updated animation, uh, I simply open my Spine project again and make a change. Let's see, what do we have? Let's pick the head, uh, which is in the images folder, 
right there. And why not, let's uh, recolor the head a little bit. Get picky. Whatever, good enough. So I'm gonna change the, uh, the head color to a nice, I don't know, Zelda green, why not? Excuse me, Link green. Uh, and save that, and Spine should reflect those changes. Uh, when I go to Export again, I'm going to click on Spine, Export, leave everything exactly the way it was, pointed to the same folder, uh, and hit Export. And that'll do its thing. Come back into Unity. All changes will be reflected here without any extra work. Doing the same for animation, let's pick uh, the move animation, just because it's nice and animated. I'm going to take the head and change the head's rotation to point it forward during this uh, this walk cycle. Oops, but I make a keyframe. Okay, so now the head should be pointed downward during the animation. Again, so save the spine file, control E for export. Uh, hit export again. We didn't really need to regenerate the atlas, but why not? Uh, back into Unity, and oh, it actually broke the prefab link. Look at that. That's interesting. Well, don't use the prefabs. Skeleton data should be fine, though. Uh, however, it does need to be refreshed because we haven't uh, reset the runtimes. So you do need to either change a property in here, or hit the play button, and then unhit the play button, and then the animation should update itself. Uh, this definitely leaves something to be desired, uh, but also can be improved quickly. Let's see. So there you go, you just let it drop in there through the export process, and hit the play button a couple times, and everything should be up to date. That pretty much covers that. I think the only other thing to go over is why I keep the Spine project in the same folder uh, as my Unity project. So here's uh, the Spine file, uh, or Spine folder, Mage folder, and Spine file in the same hierarchy as the Unity project itself. If I go in and I rename this project or move it somewhere else to uh, Spine Unity Project Watt. And I go back into, back into the Spine folder and reopen my Spine file. When we go to look at the export settings, almost, there we go. When we go to look at the export settings, this path will reflect the change uh, that was made to the root structure. So I no longer have to uh, find uh, the original folder. It stores it, and I can just re-export immediately. Uh, I don't have to go browsing for folders or wonder whether I'm targeting the right project. It just stores a relative path, and then life is good. Um, that pretty much sums it up. I um, hope that answers everybody's questions. Yeah.